Hello everybody, this is Basic Ball for the official Epic Duel channel and I am here with a video on how to complete the new missions on the Exile side. You start with a mission from Musilis named Battle Cry and what you have to do for this mission is complete 7 war fights. Simply enter the war zone and win 7 times to complete this mission. Upon completion you will gain one super infernal grenade and the next mission will unlock. For the next mission which is called an ounce of prevention, you will have to go to the archives and buy 5 poison flowers from Sek. He sells them for 100 credits apiece and after you bought 5 you simply have to click the return to NPC button, that one, uh, to complete the mission. You will gain one infernal grenade. The next mission is called bomb improvement and it requires you to turn in that grenade for a super infernal grenade. Now if you have already used that grenade on a vault, you can do some more war fights and these bombs drop as well. So that's how you can get another one. After completing the third mission from Ulysses, he will send you to Charfate, who is in Fortune City. Go to Charfate for another two missions for you to complete. Charfate's first mission is called Give Up the Ghost. To complete this mission you will have to buy one Ghost Cleaver from Hank. It costs 1350 credits. Completing the mission will give you another super infernal grenade. And the final mission you'll have to complete for Charfade is called Sneaky Peaky. Charfade will ask you to defeat the city guard next to Valerie once. He's level 10, so he shouldn't prove a problem. Completing the mission will grant you one crystal grenade. Using it against the vault will freeze it for two turns, basically giving you a free turn. When you've completed the mission, go back to Ulysses, whose last mission just unlocked. To return to the Infernal Infiltration Mines, simply click your map button and then click the corresponding button. The last mission from Ulysses, which is called To the Other Side, requires you to go and win 5 more warfights. All you have to do is click the mission button and accept the mission, and go one screen to the right. Just like last time, you will be matched with um, random 1v1 or 2v2 players or NPCs. After 5 fights you can complete the mission and you will receive a short circuit grenade. Completing this mission will also open a new quest chain, which is the Saint Alban family quest chain. You start off the Saint Alban family quest chain by talking to Selena. Selena's first mission is called Fate to the Blue and it requires you to go and get one blue orchid, which you can get from Xral in the biodome. To go to the biodome, click your map and uh, go to the biological preserve. Bio orchids cost 100 credits apiece, so they're not really expensive. After you bought it, return to Selena by clicking the jump to NPC button in your mission screen and complete the mission. Selena will award you with a hammer grenade and tell you to go see her father, the lawman. He has three missions in stock for you as well, the first of which is called Sins of the Father. To complete it, you'll have to win another 10 war fights. Again, you'll have to continue through the war zone to be able to enter a war fight. The lawman will grant you one infernal grenade for succeeding in this mission. The second mission he'll have for you to complete is called Fractured Memories. Completing the Fractured Memories mission will grant you one Stella Grenade, and it will open the Lawman's last mission. To complete it, give one Flawed Infernal Gem to the Lawman. Flawed Infernal Gems can be acquired by fighting against the Vault. The Lawman's last mission, which is called Let Him Burn, requires you to give the Lawman one Infernal Grenade. Luckily for you, you got one from his first mission. Simply turn it in to complete it. If you do happen to have used it already, you can get another one as a drop from winning warfights. It's advisable to use one from the mission though, as it's far less time consuming. Completing this mission will upgrade the Infernal Grenade to a Super Infernal Grenade and open up two new missions from Selena. First, Selena will ask you to bring her perfect Infernal Gem for the mission Facets and Reflection. 
like Flawed Infernal Gems, Perfect Infernal Gems can be acquired by fighting against the Vault. Giving one to Selina will successfully give you another Super Infernal Grenade and will open up the very last mission from this chain. The last mission is called Ghost of a Rose, and to complete it you will have to win another 5 war fights. You know the drill by now. Go to the right to enter the war zone and be matched in a random 1v1 or 2v2 fight with players and or NPCs. After winning 5 war fights, return to Selina to click the complete mission button and receive the Family Matters achievement. Well, that was it for this quest chain. I hope the video helped you a bit if you were having trouble completing it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and remember you can play Epic Duel on epicduel.ordex.com.